Running Standard Reports. In Procare, you can run standard reports from any module by clicking the Reports menu button at the top and then choosing Standard Reports. When you come into Standard Reports, all of your report categories may be collapsed. At this point, you can just click the Expand button to open everything up if you like. That'll give you a lot of reports to look through. But if you'd like to winnow out some of these reports or select just certain ones by keyword in the report name, you can use Control F on your keyboard, which will bring up a search box up at the top, so you can search by a word that's in the title of the report. For example, if I want schedule reports, I can type the word schedule. Maybe I want something that says directory in the report. There's a school directory there. I could also choose by monthly or weekly. Let's try one of those. And so everything that has that word in it will then show up on the screen. You get a much shorter list, and you can select what you'd like. I'm going to demonstrate this report right here, the weekly Monday through Friday report. So the first thing that you can see on the right, I have a filter option. This would allow me to select just certain accounts for this report rather than the basic visible accounts. So I only want children who are enrolled today. So I'm going to choose an enrollment status of enrolled and a date of today. As of today means as of the day I'm running the report. Once I've set that filter, I can use the count button just to see how many children are enrolled as of today. Or I can exit and set more options. Let's add a report header up here. And this will come up at the top of the report. And also, we can change the group and sorting options. If you think of grouping as a page break, you can change that if you have another option. In this case, we can only page break by the primary classroom. And if you'd like to change the sort by, this is the way the information will appear on each page or each section, then you can order it in a different manner. I'm going to use the default of the child's name. Also, I can add optional pieces of data if they're available here when you have an options box. I'm not going to include the child's date of birth. Run the report. So at the top, we have several options on how to get this information to who we want it to go to. If you're trying to email it, you can just click the email button, put in the recipient's email up at the top, add a subject and an email message, and then click send, and that will go to their email. Next, you can export this report in a different file format, such as a PDF. So you can click the Save As File Type, click PDF, name the report, whatever you'd like as the title, and whatever location on your computer you would like to save it to, and then click Save. Third option is just to print it as a normal document, send it to the printer for printing on paper. And navigating the report is pretty simple by using the arrow keys at the top, you can go to the last page by clicking the far right arrow, go to the first page by clicking the far left, and so on, one page at a time in the middle, left or right. And it'll tell you in the box to the right what page you're on, what page is the last page, or if you see a plus over here, it just means there's more pages. So you can go to the last page that way. You can also search for just basic information on this report. Maybe you want to search a child's name. So I might put in Brady. Go ahead and find next. It'll find Cindy Brady on page one, and then it finds Peter Brady on page eight. The last button allows you to change the view size of the page. You can make it larger or smaller by using the percentage buttons up here, or type in your own custom setting here. And that's how to run a report. One thing you can do with this information, if you always want to run this report the same way with the same filter and same report header, you can save these settings by clicking the Save Settings button at the bottom. When you return to this report, the report filter and the report header will be in place. Now we're going to run a slightly different type of report. We're going to go to what we call a drill down report. And I'd like to use the family accounting information and then charge credit summary section, and I'm going to run the specific summary primary accounts. The date range for this report will be last month, and I want to take the group and sort settings as they are. Click Run. When it comes up, you'll see I've got a tab at the top named Main Report. 
that's an indicator to you that you're on a report that allows you to drill deeper down into the information on this report. Note the tooltip that says double click to expand section. This allows you to open an item and drill down into it. Let's say I wanted to see who was in day camp last month. I could double click day camp. That would open up the detail for that charge description and show me the charge line items that were recorded for that particular charge description last month. Very useful reports, and you'll notice those when you see the main report tab. The last thing we'll look at is how to run an individual report. I might want to run an individual statement for a family. When you're on certain areas of ProCare that contain that information for the individual family, like the ledger card for the Adams family here, you'll see a report button down at the bottom. And if we click the little drop down, you'll see all of the standard reports that are available to send to just this one family. If I wanted to, say, send it to the Adams family, I could come here and copy the email first. Then I would go into the ledger card, go to the report button, I'll pick standard customer statement for last month, click OK. And when it comes up, I'm going to click email report, go to my to button and paste the email address for Mr. Adams. Go ahead and put a subject and an email message and then send it. That will send it right to him. So that's how to run ProCare's standard reports and individual reports from different areas of ProCare.